All right, guys. So now that you have your Binance wallet connected uh, like this, so even this is a fresh account which I've created over here. Uh, and you can see there is a wallet address over here and on the top it says Binance Smart Chain Network and if you click on this there would be three different options Binance Chain Network, Binance Smart Chain Network on which we are currently on and Ethereum Network. Now by default when we have created the account we are on Binance Smart Chain Network. Uh, now let's see uh, the difference between all these things. So now that we are also on CoinDCX account you just log into whatever crypto exchange you are using to buy Binance or uh, Ethereum or whatever it is. I'm personally using this and this is not at all a sponsored uh, post. I'm not endorsing uh, any brand. This is just my personal choice of using uh, a crypto wallet or crypt uh, crypto exchange in India. Uh, so now uh, all you have to do is go to funds and portfolio and you will be on this page. Uh, now where it says Binance, I'll click on withdraw and right over here as you can see uh, currently i have around 5.4126 uh, binance in the wallet and uh, right over here in the memo section there was a confusion so what i did was uh, this is a, a thing which even i didn't know so when i'm going into my profile i just tweeted that thing and i had tagged coin dcx uh, right over here somewhere yep there you go uh, does anyone have an idea about this BNB tag? Now BNB tag, uh, you'll be able to see a BNB tag if you are using on mobile and on the desktop version it says memo. So this is the difference like if you are using it on mobile you might see different options but the point would be the same so it's highly recommended that if you are doing this uh, particular article or reading you, if you are reading this uh, letter then please go through the desktop or laptop version. Uh, right over here when I said do you have any idea what should be done uh, that's where CoinDCX cares their main account actually uh, reverted that uh, just uh, uh, write any random number in the memo tag field right as you can see entering any random number in memo tag field and continue with your withdrawals uh, make sure your destination wallet address is successful. So after reading this uh, this is exactly what I tried so let's go back to Binance wallet and if I am just copying this wallet address, pasting it over here and meanwhile let's randomly put in some number and pasting the address. As soon as I click outside you will be able to see, let me zoom in, it says the destination address is not a valid BNB address. Alright, this is where it goes wrong. So while I was researching a couple of things, I got to know that it's all about changing the network. <coughs> So come back to your wallet address, click on this, click on Binance Chain Network and this is where you have a wallet address which doesn't start with 0x something. If you go back to Smart Chain Network, you'll see it starts with 0xfcx so and so. But when you come to Binance Chain Network, it starts with something like BNB. So copy that, paste it over here and now you'll see it accepts the address. And now let's say you enter the uh, amount which is let's say I would like to enter 5 point uh, let's say 5.3 alright 5.3 uh, I'll enter my withdrawal password and it says that the fee would be 0 0.005 BNB and I'll click on send and just check your OTP on the mobile phone. First, it will send you on the mobile phone. So I'm just going to type that. And now you'll also get an email uh, to confirm the initiation. So let's go and check the email. So right over here, I've received an email which says this email is to notify that we have received a request to withdraw 5.295 PNB, which is the exact amount over here after deducting the amount of 0.005. Let's click on this and it says your withdrawal request has been successfully verified and is under process. So let's go back to CoinDCX, let's try to refresh, let's see if it is over or it might take a little bit of time. So over here it says available balance is 0.1126, it's in still in order which is 5.3. Let's try to click on Binance wallet and let's see if it is there or not yes there you go it is already there 5.39 
So earlier I had 0.09, now 5.3 has been added. So this is how you can add your, uh, your BNB to Binance wallet. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in till the end of this video. Let me know if you found it valuable or not in the comments below. If you loved it, found it valuable, do give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you have still not, haven't, and pass this on to somebody else. There are two other videos as well somewhere around this. Do watch them and I'll see you in the next one.